when you have Barbara Streisand coming in and donating to the Democrat, when you have Ryan Reynolds coming in and donating to the Democrat, uh, it shows you that Hollywood is trying to buy their way into Congress. And that is MAGA moron Lauren Boebert accusing Hollywood celebrities Barbara Streisand and Ryan Reynolds of forcing Boebert to change congressional districts. They do not have policies that they are running on. They're simply running against Lauren Boebert. Federal Election Commission records show that last year, Streisand gave 3rd District Democratic candidate Adam Frisch $1,000. Reynolds gave Frisch $1,500. And we have to shut down the Hollywood elites who are trying to buy my current district. $2,500 is going to buy the district? Well, maybe Boebert is used to selling influence or herself for cheap. And Colorado's third district is not for sale. Uh, but with my announcement running in the fourth district, uh, that shut down the money, uh, the dark money that was flowing into our district to try to purchase this seat. So to keep the seat from being purchased, Lauren Boebert is changing from Colorado's third district to the fourth. Never mind, of course, that by Boebert's own definition of what campaign donations will buy, Boebert is already owned by conservatives. Federal election records show her donations last year included $3,300 from billionaire heiress Margareta Taylor of New York. Boebert also received $3,300 from Peter Lamelas, who runs a for-profit urgent medical care system in Florida. Should emergency room visits be a for-profit business? Are conservative billionaires deserving of more tax breaks? Well, that's what Lauren Boebert believes, and it must be because of the money Boebert received in campaign donations. Right, Lauren? To be clear, I agree that campaign finance donations corrupt our political system, but if it's true for donations to Democrats, it's also true for donations to Republicans. And Lauren Boebert's hypocrisy goes even further. Because even though Boebert is changing congressional districts to get away from Adam Frisch, Boebert is still accepting political donations for her race in Colorado's 4th District. I have a feeling Boebert's Republican challengers in the primary, and whichever Democrat might run in the general election, are also going to keep getting money. <laughs> Their appeal will be, we need to stop Lauren Boebert from serving in Congress. In any case, Lauren Boebert has been trying to spin her third district surrendering ever since she made the announcement. Boebert is hoping that the hashtag carpetbagger serves her better than hashtag Lauren Boebert is so dumb. It's the right move for me personally, and it's the right decision for those who support our conservative movement. Colorado's 4th District is more conservative than the 3rd, where polls show Boebert losing by double digits to Democrat Adam Frisch, who she barely defeated in 2022. Also, Frisch has raised $7.7 .7 million this year compared to Boebert's $2.2 million. This is the right move for Colorado, for us. Since the first day I ran for public office, I promised I would do whatever it takes to stop the socialists and communists from taking over our country. That means staying in the fight, but it also means not allowing Hollywood elites and progressive money groups to buy the third district. Ah, uh, yes, Hollywood elites again buying the third district. Wait, what's that scratching noise? Ah, uh, yes, it's the sounds of Hollywood and people everywhere else now writing checks to the Democrats running in the fourth congressional district. This announcement is a fresh start following a pretty difficult year for me and my family. Surveillance video revealed that she was indeed vaping, as well as she and her companion explicitly groping each other repeatedly while they oh were in God. their seats. It's tested my faith, my strength, and my abilities, both as a mom and a congresswoman. It's been humbling and challenging, but it's also given me perspective. Well, here was the perspective from radio host Howard Stern. Lauren Boebert, is a disgrace to this country, it, not because of the, the video. You are 100% right. Forget the it's politics. Wrong, she's yeah, in a uh, titty dress. If you saw the video, she's in a titty dress. She's with some dude. Looks like she's, you know, obviously vaping, but also looks like she might be grabbing his penis during uh, Beetlejuice. And uh, her, and he's is playing Beetle with her tits. Is Beetlejuice a sexy play? <laughs> <laughs> it's a very erotic play, evidently. I, re I remember the movie. It was nothing sexy about it. <laughs> you didn't grab anybody during the movie. I guess the play is much hotter. Uh, but uh, <laughs> but she was wearing a tight titty dress. Uh, I, I've seen porn stars wear more. And uh, this dude <laughs> that she's with is playing with her titties during it. They're having a party. And I I will be moving to the 4th in 2024 and will continue to take my conservative fight 
directly to them. A victory for Boebert in the 4th District, however, is not guaranteed. As the Washington Post reports, the district's GOP incumbent rep, Ken Buck, is not seeking re-election, but Boebert enters a crowded primary field. And one opponent tapped her for carpetbagging in a statement late Wednesday. Seat shopping isn't something the voters look kindly upon, State Rep Richard Holtorf said. If you can't win in your home, you can't win here. Buck's district is the most heavily Republican in the state. President Donald Trump carried it by about 20 percentage points over Democrat Joe Biden in 2020. Speaking of Joe Biden, one of the president's more interesting media interviews in recent months came when he was shown a clip of Lauren Boebert. If I can, I want to show you a video of MAGA Republican Lauren Boebert. It was a remarkable presidential moment, courtesy of the MidasTouch.com. Host Ben Micella showed a Lauren Boebert floor speech criticizing the Inflation Reduction Act. This is the exact opposite of what Americans need right now. This is just another con game by the Democrats calling something one thing Gentlemen's and saying time another. Expired. This is making the IRS, which is the time has expired. The Pentagon, the State the woman, Department. Gentleman is yes, no longer no. recognized. The gentleman from Missouri reserves the bell. Mr. Speaker. How much time do you need? The gentlewoman is no longer recognized. After laughing at Boebert, President Biden noted the bill she opposed sorry. created jobs no, okay. in Boebert's district. If it weren't so important to be humorous, what's you call a massive failure? The only massive failure occurs in their thinking. Moments earlier in a speech at a wind turbine factory in Boebert's district, the president ridiculed her. The historic investments we're celebrating today is in Congressman Boebert's district. <laughs> She's one of the leaders of this extreme mega movement. She, along with every single Republican colleague, voted against the law that made these investments and jobs possible. And that's not hyperbole, that's a fact. And then she voted to repeal key parts of this law. And she called this law a massive failure. You all know you're part of a massive failure? I hope she comes back here and tells the people in this factory, the largest wind turbine factory in the world, that this is a massive failure. I'd like to ask and explain how she supports not taxing billionaires more than 8%. I have trouble explaining it, but then again, I probably shouldn't. By all accounts, Lauren Boebert's legislative record is abysmal. She has passed almost nothing as a lawmaker, and whenever she opens her mouth, she underscores that she doesn't understand what she's screeching about. There is often a direct correlation between the trending hashtag Lauren Boebert is so dumb and her confused appearances in a hearing or on the House floor. What you've said is none of the funds in this bill can be spent for that objective. And that is precautionary. What, what, I want what to... funds are in this bill to be sp spent for that objective? I, I have seen this administration use all sorts of funds no, to protect illegal aliens. Re re and this reclaiming is my time, Ms. Boebert. To Bobert. ensure that it will not be. Reclaiming my time. There are no funds in this bill to do that. With Lauren Boebert, it's a never-ending mix of misinformation, hypocrisy, and lunatic drama. And nothing will change that, no matter which congressional district Boebert seeks to represent. The fact is, the campaign donations to her Democratic opponents from Hollywood and everywhere else are going to keep coming. <laughs> By the way, Lauren Boebert is one of the fiercest defenders in Congress of Donald Trump, and the former president has been hit with a series of allegations about his personal hygiene and bad body odor. So take like armpits, ketchup, uh, like a butt, and kind of put it in a blender and makeup. <laughs> Check out that video at the link below. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.